Alam mo yung feeling na lagi kang mali. Yung kahit anong pagod sa trabaho. Parang ayaw mo pa din umuwi. Yan ang nararamdaman ko sa sarili kong pamamahay. Di dahil sa meron akong hiba, di dahil sa pagod na akong magpakaama, kundi dahil sa aking sariling may bahay. Araw-araw puro na lang reklamo. Kesyo bakit di daw kami tulad ng mga kumari niya, perong ganyan, perong ganito. Sawang-sawa na daw siya sa araw-araw na problema kahit ako naman tong nagtatrabaho. Ako na nga yung may trabaho, ako pa gumagawa ng gawaing bahay. Laba, luto, hugas plato. Ako si Ben, sawa na akong maging alila sa sarili kong bahay. Oras na para bigyan ko ang sarili ko na self-respect. May love alam nyo sa Pinoy culture, tampulan ng tukso yung mga lalaking under the saya. Yung isang sit-sit lang ng asawa o uwi na. Yung kapag sinabi ng asawa na hindi ka alis, hindi sila alis. Yung mga lalaking sinusundo ng mga asawa nila sa kanto kapag nagiinuman, ganyan, pinapauwi, sinisigawan, yung araw-araw binubulyawan. Sa Pinoy culture, it's kind of cute. But I just hope na you don't tolerate that. Let it be cute from time to time if it's a form of teasing. Pero don't make it a habit that you do that. And girls, I know that uh, it can sometimes make you feel powerful kapag nabobos around ninyo yung mga partners ninyo, yung mga jowa nyo. But like what I've said kanina, wag nyong gawing habit. Kasi may love, hindi na tayo yung old school type ng, ng era na walang rights ang mga babae, wala tayong boses. Kung baga, nag-adjust na tayo over time, over century, centuries. Ayan, nag, uh, nag-adjust na tayo. Decades pala, hindi pala centuries. <laughs> over decades. Nag-adjust na tayo sa ganyan. And un- unti-unti, we are claiming our freedom sa ganong klasing pamamaraan but let's not abuse what our freedom can do not because uh, they find it cute or other people find it cute you'll make it a habit na parang tinatapakan mo yung pagkalalaki ng partner mo just to feel dominating just to feel powerful just to feel like ikaw yung ikaw yung tama at all times kasi you have to take into consideration my love that that is someone else's son at walang magulang ang gugustuhin makita yung anak nila na sinasabihan ng kung ano-ano na disrespect sa harapan ng mga kaibigan niya sa harapan ng mga tito-tita niya sa, ra- sa harapan ng mismong pamilya niya sa harapan ng mga anak niya No parent would ever like to see something like that. If you have problems with your husbands when it comes to arrangement, ganyan, you can you can talk about it. But I don't think it's good when umaabot kayo sa point na binubos around mo siya, especially when he is in front of his friends, colleagues, mga anak, especially when nasa harapan ng mga anak. Why? Because uh, fathers, if I'm not mistaken, must maintain this certain disciplinarian image. Dapat siya yung parang source of strength ng pamilya. Padre de pamilya nga eh. Kahit papano dapat sa kanya nang gagaling yung authority. Although yung pagde-decide, yung responsibilities, yung decisions, hati kayo. as a modern way of uh, deciding for a family pero at least man lang ba? Diba? you put the authority sa lalaki so that they feel like this is my family parang parang ano lang to eh, my love parang nature lang to parang mother nature sa animal kingdom para ramdam ng lalaki na this is my flock this is my pride this is my 
this is the these are my people yung mga ganyan and I will protect them para meron silang certain pride na ganon kasi with you doing that yung pagtatatalak always say, uh, always saying demeaning words whenever he cannot provide you the life a uh, life he promised you kapag hindi niya na ibibigay sa iyo yung nabibigay ng mga asawa ng mga kumare mo sa kanila whenever pinipinpoint mo yan sa kanila tinatapakan niya yung pagkalalaki niya nawawala yung confidence niya not not only to uh, as a man but to provide for his family to stand up for his family to be proud to be the husband of you as a wife tinatang dinidiscourage niya siya nagampanan yung role niya and so letter sender natin na si Ben eh? ah si Ben may love ganito no if you think that your partner is no longer encouraging you inspiring you to become the best that you can be instead your partner is preventing you to being the person that you need to be kasi wala ka nang naramdaman na kahit anong suporta puro na lang pangungutya puro na lang pagbibiga uh, bibilang puro na lang panunumbat if that's the kind of relationship yung matatanggap mo at uuwian mo every single day hindi na ka magtataka if one day you'll be like Ben na you'll leave not, bas- not because you are fed up sa dada not because you are fed up sa away or sa talakan but because You can no longer see yourself in the mirror and not be ashamed of what you see. Durog na durog ka na eh. You may not be physically, physically tormented by your spouse. Pero sa salita, sa pagkatao, durog na durog ka na. Hindi ako magtataka if you'll be like Ben. Na you'll do what's best not only for for the family but for you for your mental health para na rin siguro sa peace of mind ng lahat I don't blame Ben for standing up for himself getting back his self-respect kasi no one my love walang taong pinanganak dito sa mundo not even your spouse has the right natratuhin ka na parang hindi ka tao just because you cannot be the person they want you to be. Hindi mo kailangan mag-put up sa ganyang klaseng abusive environment just to hold on sa idea of having a family. Sa panahon ngayon, my love, if you don't think that Staying is wor- it's gonna work. Staying will work for you and your family. Staying will be beneficial for you, for the kids. Then, my love, maybe moving on, getting out of it is the best thing you can do for them. So, again, my love, papaalala ko sa inyo, no person in this world is allowed or has the right para iparamdam sa inyo na wala kayong silbing tao. Do not ever receive anything like that. Kasi once na hinayaan nyo yung mga taong taratuhin kayo ng ganyan, then you cannot demand otherwise and you'll just feel sorry for yourself for a very long time. Kasi yung isang beses na ginawa sa inyo at hindi nyo nagustuhan, that's on that person. Pero kung paulit-ulit sa inyong gagawin, that one is on you. Sabi nga nila, my love, you'll only be treated the way you allow people to treat you. So if you'll treat yourself and allow people to treat you like shit, then basically, you are treating yourself like that. 